Let's have fun adventures together. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> it's everything I've ever dreamed. <laughs> In the magical land of unicorns, there's no need for clothing. Whatever you say. No, no, no. Take it off slowly. Yes, that pleases me. <laughs> Were you a real? <laughs> In the magical land of unicorns, there's no need for clothing. Whatever you say. No, no, no. Take it off slowly. Yes, that pleases me. <laughs> Polish my magic card. Okay. say you work for Colleoni Tom. I thought you were just some cheap two-bit hustler Johnny was running in trying to bluff me. I don't want to use his name unless it's really necessary. How's your drink, Tom? Fine. Hey, come on over here with me. I want to show you something really beautiful. You do appreciate beauty, don't you? This is the unicorn. Hey, uh, Six hundred thousand dollars on four hooks. I'll bet Russian Zahn never paid that kind of dough for a single horse. Cartoon. Cartoon. I'm not going to race him, though. I'm going to put him out to stud. Thanks, Tony. Let's get something to eat, huh? Hey, you looking for that kid? Grab those keys and come in here, and I'll tell you where she is. Ha! Nice try. I see that other wolf hiding behind the rock. Come on. Hey, you like scotch? I got a 21-year Macallan in here. Let's have a drink. How does a wolf get a 21-year Macallan? It was a gift from a friend. Pretty good friend. Hey, what do you do? I'm a writer. Wait a minute, what's your name? Brian Griffin. Brian Griffin? I knew I recognized you. I read your book. You read Faster Than the Speed of Love? I sure did, and thanks for saying the title. Well, maybe I will come in for a Macallan. those noises ears facing squaring off when that horse keeps facing you like this that's a clue you're pushing this horse too hard too fast and he's not learning um, this horse was just getting prepped by remember a horse will always rather run than fight this horse is trying to give him every opportunity that I would rather run than fight you but if, if you want to insist I guess I'll fight if you let me go, I'll give you free large pizza pie with purchase of the same. Offer not good Tuesday through Sunday. We're closed on a Monday. And then that's the bite. And uh, he hits him in the head, and I think his tooth cuts his head. And I mean, I've been hitting the head with a horse, and it, it bleeds a lot, and it looks worse than it is. I don't know if he got stitches or whatever, but notice this horse attacks him like a horses do. This horse is being a stallion. He's not being mean, bad, crazy, has to be put down. The human put pressure and trapped him and put him in a position where he had no choice. You know, like some dummy walks into a freaking lion cage with a stake around his neck and then says the lion's dangerous because it attacked him. I mean, look, the human caused this. This is not a horse issue. I mean, the horse has issues and he needs to work with, but this horse should not be put down because of this attack. Again, uh, he got him on the ground. Uh, this horse could easily kill this guy if he wanted to. I mean, he's got him on the ground. He's gonna, he could stop him. He could strike him. He could stand on top of him and stop him 20 times in a second. I mean, horses are so fast. Uh, the guy is totally helpless now, and he's at the whim of the horse. Uh, and watch what the horse does. Horse. Oh, 
this victory. He didn't read my book.